Hello, my name is Zenzale. Welcome to my channel, Urban Eve. In this video, I guess you could say I'm doing a sort of part two of my Fenty Beauty Pressed Powder Foundation review. In my first one, I tried the color 400 and found that it was not necessarily too dark, but like too reddish for me. So this time, I went back and I got the shade 385 and I do believe that this is a match, like the closest match for my skin tone. So I think it's well worth noting that on the Fenty Beauty website, the shades of the Fenty Beauty Pressed Powder Foundation between 400 and 420 are all described as being medium deep with warm golden undertones. After 400, it's 390, that's described as being medium deep with yellow undertones. And then 385, which is the second shade that I purchased, is described as medium deep neutral. So here's the color 400, which I used in my first impression review of this foundation. And here is the color 385. So I don't have anything else on my face right now besides sunscreen. As you can see, I've gone ahead and done my brows and my eyeshadow look because I really just wanna focus on how I apply the Fenty Beauty Pressed Powder Foundation. I'm going to put some more moisturizer on my face. I'm gonna do three pumps of this. It is just as in the initial uh, first impression, I feel like it's really important to prep the skin, especially for a powder foundation. So if you've watched videos on my channel before, you'll know that I'm not really big on priming my skin, but if you watched my previous skincare video, um, I mentioned that I bought my second full size of Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. So I did also add Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas to that order, and I'm gonna be priming with this. And I'm just gonna focus this mostly in the area where my pores are. And then smoothing the rest out on the rest of my face. So I'm gonna go in with concealer from Juvia's Place. My usual shade is the shade 12. And as always, I'm gonna take my Royal Lang and Nickel BOM 38 complexion brush and blend that out. So now I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Press Powder in 385 and I'm going to do a trick that I saw CK Beauty use in her most recent video using this foundation which is that I'm going to swirl my kabuki brush in the powder to get the maximum amount for the maximum amount of coverage. I don't know if we can see this, but even in this neutral shade, there's still a bit of like reddishness, but it's not like too much. And I mean, it doesn't mention having any reddishness or yellow or golden. This is medium deep. It's described as medium deep neutral. And I do feel that the neutralness of this shade is much better suited to my skin tone than the 400. 
Now I'm gonna try putting the 400 in places where I need a little bit of warmth and see how that works. Oh yeah, that's definitely adding a little bit of warmth. Not as much as I usually like for bronzer. So I'm probably just gonna go in with my actual Fenty Beauty bronzer over this, but I just want to try and see what this might look like because I do feel like I can still use this, but you know, it's gonna be a light application that you don't really notice as much as a traditional bronzer. So I am gonna go in with Coco Naughty and use this for contouring and bronzing. That's what this looks like. Wow, I just realized that just like my first impression, I forgot to set my concealer. For some strange reason, it doesn't even seem like it needs setting but I am gonna go in and set that in a moment. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder to set the concealer a little bit. I'm not gonna go in a whole lot. blush, I'm going to be using Rare Beauty's Stay Vulnerable in Nearly Apricot. I have been loving this. For highlighter, I'm going to be using this teeny tiny sample that I got from Rare Beauty as well. This is their Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. I have also been loving this. And this is in the color Flaunt. lip color I'm going to be using the Fenty Lip Drip Cream in Fenty Glow. So this is my final look using the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation by Fenty Beauty using the shade 385, which I believe is the closest in match that I'm gonna get in this powder foundation. So if you are my skin tone or you know somewhere around there, you might wanna try 385 if you're interested in trying this powder foundation. Now, initially, I know that I was concerned about powder you know causing dryness and maybe making my skin look like more porous than it does in the places where I am concerned about pores which is right here and here um, and I'm happy to say that having worn this foundation having done this look a couple of times and worn it for several hours this foundation on me starts to look better and better with time that's probably something that Rihanna intended with this powder foundation I don't think that she would come out with a powder foundation that was just going to be like really capable and set into fine lines and pores. Um, I can say for me that that hasn't been my experience. I really feel that this actually starts to give me a very skin-like finish after several hours. Now it does have the matte properties, 
but it's again it's not drying matte it's just very flawless matte is what i will say about it i will also say that this powder is very light feeling i don't feel like that there is any powder on my skin when i put this on even when i swirl the brush around to get the maximum coverage I still don't feel like I have a lot of powder on my skin. So I do love that about it as well. So I do feel like for me, this was worth the purchase of a second shade, this shade in 385. Uh, the 400 shade, I will definitely still be using this one as well. As you saw earlier, it does provide a nice soft, kind of warm toasty effect on the perimeter of my face and even in my initial review of this i noticed that this was going to be good for that so nothing has been wasted here i really do love 385 for the primary surface of my face but 400 i still like as well and i also feel like any of these setting powders are good if you just want to set your face like if you use another foundation if you use the fenty beauty foundation just using this to kind of like you know mattify certain areas of your face you know throughout the day I think this works well for that as well as a primary foundation powder so that is it for my second time around using the pro filter soft matte powder foundation by Fenty Beauty I hope that you enjoyed this review let me know if you have tried any of these powder foundations from Fenty Beauty um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on them in the comment section below and until then I will see you in my next video soon. Bye.